वेलकम व्यूअर हेयर आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग ए वेरी डिटेल्ड एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द फोर्थ लूसी पोएम थ्री इयर्स शी ग्रीव इन सन एंड शावर वाई विलियम वर्सवर्थ सो लेट्स बिगी थ्री इयर्स शी ग्रीव इन सन एंड शावर दे नेचर सेड अ लवलीयर फ्लावर ऑन अर्थ वॉज नेवर सोन दिस चाइल्ड आई टू माई सेल्फ विल टेक शी शेल बी माइंड एंड आई विल मेक अ लेडी ऑफ माई ओन ओवर द कोर्स ऑफ थ्री इयर्स लूसी फ्लरिस्ट अंडर द नर्चरिंग इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ सनलाइट एंड रेन नेचर हर सेल्फ सीम टू एफर्म दैट नो लवलीयर क्रिएशन हैड एवर ग्रेस्ड द अर्थ नेचर डिसाइडेड टू क्लेम लूसी एज हर ओन अंडर टेकिंग द टास्क ऑफ शेपिंग हर इन टू ए वोमन ऑफ ग्रेस एंड ब्यूटी माई सेल्फ विल टू माई डार्लिंग बी बोथ लॉ एंड इम्पल्स एंड विथ मी द गर्ल इन रॉक एंड प्लेन इन अर्थ एंड हेवन इन ग्लेड एंड बावर शेल फील एंड ओवर सींग पावर टू किंडल और रेस्ट्रेन नेचर डिक्लेयर दैट शी वुड बी ए गाइडिंग फोर्स फॉर लूसी प्रोवाइडिंग बोथ स्ट्रक्चर एंड स्पॉन्टेनिटी लूसी रिफर टू एज द गर्ल्ड वुड सेंस नेचर प्रेजेंस एवरीवेयर फ्रॉम रॉकी ट्रेरेंस टू सीरिन ग्लेड्स दिस प्रेजेंस वुड बोथ स्पार्क एंड टेम्पर हर इम्पल्स एज नीडेड शी शैल बी स्पोर्टिव एज द फॉर्न दैट वाइल्ड विद ग्ली अक्रॉस द लॉन और अप द माउंटेन स्प्रिंग्स एंड हर्स शैल बी द ब्रीथिंग बाम एंड हर्स द साइलेंस एंड द काम of mute insen- insensate things lucy's spirit would embody the playfulness of a fawn expressing joy as she moved through various landscapes her calmness would resemble that of inanimate objects even amid stormy times lucy would find a serene grace that molded her character through unspoken empathy the floating clouds their state shall lend to her for her the willow bend nor shall she fail to see even in the motions of the storm grace that shall mold the maiden's form by silent sympathy nature's nurturing influence will extend to lucy in various ways the floating clouds in the sky will mirror her emotional state reflecting her feelings and experiences the willow trees will symbolize her adaptability bending gracefully in response to different circumstances lucy will possess an insightful perspective even amid stormy situations she will recognize the grace that shapes her character much like the way a sculptor molds a young woman's form this transformation will occur through a quiet unspoken understanding a silent sympathy between lucy and the forces of nature the stars of midnight shall be dear to her and she shall lean her ear in many a secret place where rivulets dance their wayward round and beauty born of murmuring sound shall pass into her face This poem is very beautiful. The stars of midnight and the soothing sounds of nature would hold a special place for Lucy. She would find beauty and solace in secret spots where streams danced and murmuring sounds enriched her soul. The intensity of delight would elevate her stature and maturity. And vital feelings of delight shall rear her form to stately height. Her virgin bosom swell. Such thoughts to Lucy I will give while she and I together live here in this happy dell. The stanza and vital feelings of delight signifies that Lucy's st- intense and profound emotions of happiness and joy will play a significant role. This growth is likened to how a plant flourishes when nurtured by favorable conditions. These feelings of delight will act as a force that raises Lucy to a state of dignity and grandeur. This can be understood metaphorically as her emotional richness will contribute to her personal growth and stature, making her a more elevated and distinguished person. Her virgin bosom swell portrays the idea that her emotions and experiences will contribute to her emotional and spiritual maturity. The term virgin bosom implies her untouched and youthful spirit, which will be enriched by the emotions she experiences and the moment she lives. Such thoughts to Lucy I will give indicates that these positive attributes and qualities are being bestowed upon Lucy by nature. It's as if nature, like a benevolent force, is nurturing her with these emotions and traits that will shape her character and personality. while she and i together live reinforces the connection between lucy and nature indicating that these qualities will be present throughout their shared existence nature continues to be an influential presence in lucy's life guiding her growth and development here in this happy dell refers to the idyllic and joyful environment where lucy's growth is taking place this environment is symbolic of a harmonious and nurturing space where both lucy and nature coexist in their transformative journey thus nature speak the work was done how soon my lucy's race was run she died and left to me this heat this calm and quiet sea the memory of what has been and never more will be
Nietzsche is pronouncement is fulfilled. Her plan for Lucy's growth and transformation is complete. However, the swiftness with which Lucy's life journey unfolds becomes painfully apparent. The speaker laments that Lucy's life, like a brief race, reaches its conclusion too soon. The imagery of her race being run suggests both the brevity and finality of life's course. The stanza continues with a poignant note. Lucy passes away, leaving behind a legacy. The speaker now reflects upon what remains, the landscape of the heath, tranquil and serene. This setting becomes symbolic of the calm and quiet scene that characterizes Lucy's absence. The phrase, the memory of what has been, underscores the significance of Lucy's presence and experiences. These memories remain imprinted on the landscape, serving as a testament to the moments she shared with her. However, there is a melancholic twist in the stanza's conclusion, and never more will be. This line captures the essence of the fleeting nature of human life and experiences. The poignant, the poignant reality that Lucy's unique presence, her growth, and the moments they shared will never occur again accentuates the theme of impermanence. This is a very profound and impactful and beautiful poem. I hope you like the poem. Subscribe the channel for more and hit the like button. Thank you.